hey there dependent inspiration have here this is going to be a very quick video so currently a lot of users like myself have the problem or have an error when trying to download the check out software with a wget command so typically when you want to download the software you just come here right click copy the link address come into your console type wget paste in the url and press enter but you see that we get this error that the request is forbidden. So I'm, so I'm going to teach you a workaround around this. What we're going to do is that we're going to download the software locally onto our computer, connect to the VPS server using FileZilla, and after that, upload the file that we downloaded onto the server. Once we do this, the rest of the process would basically remain the same like we have. So what you're going to have to do is to come to the app.ata.com and then click on CLI for Linux. This would basically download the software on your PC. Now, after we have downloaded the software, what we're going to do is that we're going to connect to our VPS server. So here there's a free software that I use. This software is called FileZilla. So here, just come to the link. I'm going to put a link in the description section. Click on download FileZilla clients. So this is how the FileZilla application looks. All we're going to need to connect to the console or to connect to the VPS server is to put in your IP address. So here it's going to be the IP address of your VPS server, the username of your VPS. So usually when you connect to your VPS server, you always put a username and password. So here you're going to put in the username and then here you're going to put in the password and the port is going to be 22. So I already created a test server. So here I'm going to copy and paste in the IP address of my VPS server, the username of my IP address, sorry, of my VPS server is root. And then I'm going to put in the password. So I put in the password here and here very important, the port is going to be 22. After that, just click on quick connect or you can just press enter. And then it's going to ask you if you trust the connection. So I trust the connection. I'm going to choose always trust this host and then click on OK. So what you see is that now it loads all the files for our VPS server. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into where I saved the file that I downloaded. I'm going to extract this. Sorry, I'm going to pull this into the VPS files. So this is the file that I downloaded. I just tracked this. Or you can just click here basically to navigate to wherever you downloaded the file. And then here all you have to do is to drag this file into the VPS server. Then here you see a progress that a file has been transferred. So it's a pretty small file. So depending on your internet speed, this should go very quickly. So now the file has been successfully transferred to the server. So when I come back into my console and then now I type the command ls, you would see that I now have the application software that I want to download. So everything from here basically remains the same as we always do. So for instance, if you want to extract the file we're going to need this command here so tar space minus xvf space and then we're going to copy the name of the file i'm going to right click and copy this i'm going to paste this in and i'm going to press enter and then you see that everything from here i'm not going to do this in this video because i'm pretty sure you know how to do this if not just check a lot of the youtube tutorials that i have everything from here basically remains the same the only thing that i want to show you how to fix is to get around this command this command or this error of 403 forbidden when you are trying to use the wget command if you have any questions um just come to the discord channel we'll be very happy to help you out thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one bye